welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie. I'm excited for today's video because we're finally going to get into all of this Ebian products. Like they sent this PR box over to me um, a few months ago. If you guys haven't seen the unboxing, I will have it linked. But you guys, now I'm ready to get into it. So we will be using all of the products in that box as well as my project pan items that I don't have to do a complete full face and I'm gonna upload this on a Friday so I thought why not do the Uma Beauty ready for my close-up foundation and use today take advantage of a foundation Friday you know what I mean all products that I will be using today will be listed down below in the hot box you guys can use my coupon code for ebian to save you 10 percent off you guys i am ready <laughs> i'm ready i've been having this box displayed on my vanity ever since i did the unboxing and every time i look at it i'm like <sighs> i want to get into it so we're gonna get into it so if you guys are here for it then just keep watching but before we go any further i would love for you guys to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification turn your post notifications to all give this video a thumbs up and comment right now where you're from and what's the weather like right now all right you guys i did go ahead and prep my face for this look i would insert the clips if i can because i did it on my phone what y'all my dog is growling because i have my big vanity mirror sitting like right in front of me so it's showing him my legs and he think it's somebody in here if you guys haven't seen that video i will have it linked as well i have done my face I washed my face I moisturized and everything with um, some new products that I got from a PR company so I'm gonna try to include the clips um, I did it off my phone so hopefully I could get it plugged in right here but y'all we're gonna jump off into whew, I got some good I'm like looking all over the place because I don't know where to start I know we're gonna start with the brows so we are gonna take the Ebion Secret of Ferron brow pencil wait is it it's the water resistant smudge resistant ultra thin tip this is a micro brow pencil um we are going to quickly oh back up okay so let's start with the Ebion edge controls these are the 24 hour edge tamers the extra firm hold um, I have kiwi pineapple and then I have peaches now I didn't use both of them kiwi pineapple is like my favorite okay <laughs> I think I use peaches less so I want to go ahead and lay down my edges real quick so I am gonna take a little bit and I saved this part for the video because I knew I was gonna use this product and I just want to show you guys how easy and simple and how good this edge control lay your hair down like and I don't do anything extra I don't even really have baby hairs but I make them <laughs> I make it boom i love how sleek it gets it y'all and that that ebion smells so good so back into the pencil we are going to fill in our brows it does come with a spoolie and i am going to kind of fast forward through this part because i always i have too many brow tutorials on my channel so if you guys want to see it in depth brow tutorial i will have them all listed down below oh yes instantly instantly okay and yes my hair is like a burgundy purple or burgundy red right now but because the 
color is growing out. I don't mind doing dark brows instead of colored brows. I pull out my Nobby pencil. This is in hot red. It's like real fiery. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend this black with the red. So I'm actually loving this pencil. So be on the lookout of me using that a whole lot more because that's bomb. Yeah, we use this AOA from Miss A and this is the E122 brush and uh, let's see I want to use some of my project pen products so I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop no filter concealer and dark 40 if you guys haven't seen my project pen video oops <gasps> y'all the doe foot just fell off so I did switch over to the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer and 370 because of the dark 40 it fell like the doe foot broke off and I was excited about finishing that product up I'm using the Morphe R32 brush it's like a I use it to blend out underneath my brow it's almost like a concealer brush. It's dense, it's stiff, and it's small and round. When they sent over this box to me, it's a whole theme to it, and it's the Egyptian theme. I am going in with my P. Louise base and Roma number six. I'm going to put a little bit on my eyelids and use it as my base. So let's get into the Ebion Secret of Pharaoh. Ferro palette. Um, today in real life as feminists, it'll be long gone by the time you guys see this video. But today I have a Zoom call with Evian. So I was like, let me get all dolled up in their products. Do my makeup all cute and stuff for them. So I am going to use the BH12 brush. Y'all know I'm a ride or die for this brush. I am going to go into Warm Sand. And this palette has a mirror on it, so we're going to do a quick look, I think. I need this to stay down. And you guys know I like to stamp my eyeshadow before actually blending. And yes, I done went back to my old ways of using tape. I did it in one of my previous videos of doing all kind of products I mean doing all kind of makeup steps that I used to do back in the day and I actually missed the tape now when using tape make sure you actually put eyeshadow where the tape stops or you will see it in your makeup look okay I kind of want to go in with a smaller brush so let me get this Morphe M535 brush and go into sundown and kind of place it below warm sand like right in the crease area and don't worry it is coming off more popping than the warm sand but we also gonna go in with a deeper color I just want to give this like a gradient effect Sundown in the pan looks like a true brown, like a true tan, but it's actually coming out more orangey. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but in, in the mirror, it's coming out more orange. So with that same brush, I'm dipping into Desert Dusk, and I kind of want to place it right at the edge and towards the middle. And I'm still holding on to the BH12 brush because I'm going to go back in and blend some more. And I'm not dipping a lot. I'm just touching it, picking up a little bit of product just so that I could blend out the edges. Okay, so I am going to go in. I really want to go in with Sunbeam, but I need to see. Is that okay? So it is a press. Radiant Light is like a glitter. So I want to go in with Sunbeam and 
tap right in here and I'm kind of leaving the beginning of my eye a little bit of space so that we could I'm gonna try the radiant light I don't know how well it's gonna take oh that is pretty I don't know how well sun uh, radiant light is going to be but I want to try it okay so I decided instead of trying to do radiant light this twilight is looking really pretty so so I'm gonna take this Morphe M322 brush and I'm gonna dip into Twilight. Oh yeah, see, I think that'll be easier on the finger too. It's not picking up so well on the brush. I've been loving easy, simple looks lately. So for right now, we're done with this palette and I'm going to go over to the liquid eyeliner in black all from the same collection and we're gonna try this felt tip out because if i'm not mistaken from when i did the unboxing it was a felt tip you gotta do a couple of layers for it to come out jet black but it's not bad in my opinion my left eye is the hardest but it always comes out better than the right Okay, so that's the most even we're gonna get. Okay, you guys. So, Ibian don't have much. You better not, Prada. You guys, I forgot to use these two brushes. I hate when I do that. But I will use this foundation brush. Y'all have to watch Prada. And we're gonna apply our foundation. But before we do that, let's use the NYX Angelville primer today and hopefully oh god y'all i be holding on to these products and then they don't be wanting to work no more let's use the nor pour blum no pour blum primer by touch and soul okay yeah that one works y'all i'll be holding on to my products and be acting like i don't want to use them and then they stop working on me. So here's where we're gonna fix the top portion of our brows because we're gonna be using the Uma Beauty foundation. I don't know what the world is that noise out there. Let's hope and pray this foundation is a good match. I do have the shade Brown Sugar T4. So I'm praying to God it works. Oh, okay, we may be on to something. Now I am gonna take a little bit of the Fenty and mix it for the top of my brows. And just like that, we have beautiful brows. So I am gonna wipe this off because I'm gonna go back in with some more foundation. I gave myself three pumps. Gonna dip off into. Mm, she's a little richer. The foundation. <laughs> yes, the foundation. And I'm not that used to doing my foundation with the foundation brushes, but we're gonna do it for the sake of the video. I probably, and I know I will, still go over it with the beauty blender just because that's what I'm used to the brush oh it looks like this foundation will oxidize because today is a foundation Friday and a new products review uh, makeup tutorial I will update you guys in the comments look for the pin comment on how this foundation wore because from what it looks like it's gonna oxidize and I did add three more pumps to my hand all because it's not like a it's not giving a full coverage and this foundation is a flawless in real life skin protecting foundation it's infused with vitamin C 100% marine oh medium to full coverage 
I'm seeing the medium, but I don't want to build up on it due to the fact that it looks like it will oxidize. Like it's already getting dark. So I'm not gonna just like go ham with it. I'm gonna leave it at the medium coverage, but I kind of like the brush. It's not as stiff as I would like it, but it has a good hold to it. Gonna go in with our concealer, the Fenty again. I was going to use the ColourPop, but let it sit just a little bit. And while we wait, I am going to spray my face with the Pixie Vitamin Wake Up Mist. Whoa. I want to use my Miss A High Definition E109 brush to blend out right here. doing my under eye last just because I want more coverage snatched and cute okay so I'm really gonna fast forward through this part because we don't have no more Ibian products until the mascara and lashes and then lips but I will have the products that I'm using down below in the description Baby, 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 you driving me wild, you driving me so crazy. Got me acting out, got me trying to stay sober. Me trying to stay sober. Wanted your love, and I'm out here hungover. You made me wanna take you to London, Paris. Songs with cherries, no comparing to you. like the fact that this mascara is more on the drier side all right let's see I'm gonna keep this out because we got to use it on our bottoms and so we have two two lashes this one is the mink cat eye in pearl and then this one is in March and March goes like very tapered so I'm kind of thinking that I'm gonna do the other eye and I'll be right back and just like that boom so let's take I kind of like the nakedness I thought I was gonna put some um, color on the bottom but because I like the naked the nakedness of the bottom I'm just going to run this mascara on my baby my baby lashes but I'm liking the look so far well this is basically the completed look I am gonna go in with some highlighter I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place Heron palette and I'm gonna use my Do Care Highlighter. Ooh, B. Girl, she just gave me so much life. <laughs> okay, so the last part, y'all, this just did it for me. Let me spray my face. I I'm loving it. What do you think? Ooh, she cute. Okay, so for the last step, I'm not even going to hold y'all. We have glosses from Ebbing and this look is not giving me glossy vibe. You know what I'm saying? So, I think what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna line my lips with my Gerard Cosmetics, my Gerard Cosmetics liquid lipstick and Boss Lady. Use my coupon code to save you some money off. I think I'm gonna line my lips with this and then fill in with another matte lip 
liquid lipstick. All right, we're gonna take a little bit of Boxo chocolate from my L'Oreal Infallible. Gonna dab a little bit. So there you have it, you guys. That is the completed full face, almost full face of Evian New York. I'm a big fan and been a big fan of Evian way before they even contacted me. So I'm happy that I was on, that I got added to their PR list. If you guys support me, please, please, please use my affiliate link down below. Just let Evian know that A. Marie Beauty sent you even if you buy the cheapest thing on their website and use my code. It will help me out to continue bringing you guys content and it will help me out to working with more brands other than Ebian. And you guys, I'm hoping to stay on Ebian's PR for a long time. So help your girl out. You're here for me, I'm here for you. Let's win together. I absolutely love the way this makeup came out oh y'all so hopefully you guys enjoy make sure to check down below in the hot box to get the update on the uma uma beauty foundation as well as look in the description for every product that i used in today's video so i'll catch you guys in the next one deuces hey.